by maintaining this really advanced program that we actually help those who are most subject to the disparities. So it's really a field that affects everyone. The coolest thing is you can probably use it to really cure disease. Compassionate cutting-edge care and clinical excellence is what drives physician scientists, researchers, educators, and clinicians at Yale. Yale's section of pulmonary critical care and sleep medicine brings together the subspecialties and tailored rigorous clinical training into a culture of collaboration, a community supporting better ways to diagnose, prevent, and treat human lung disease. There's a common thread among the professionals dedicated to clinical excellence at Yale. Uh, we think of each other as colleagues and friends and family. It's important to have work-life balance, and I think that's part of the, the Yale PCCSM mission. Teamwork is what makes our section unique, but it's really what makes Yale unique and special. A collaborative environment at the heart of delivering compassionate, effective care. So we have really outstanding interstitial lung disease programs, sleep centers, COPD programs, asthma, lung cancer, cystic fibrosis. In every one of these, we really invest as if they were the only one. Agility is a key part of the multidisciplinary approach. All the patients are more complex, which means that you need to have multidisciplinary teams. You have to be way more agile. We have directors for every unit, for every subspecialty, and we make sure to engage all the teams when we encounter a patient. And really, it has dramatically expanded the capacity to develop, you know, customized and individualized care for specific diseases. A good example of that is probably the creation of the post-COVID recovery program during the height of the initial surge was really a grassroots effort. Multidisciplinary approaches that foster innovation. We established uh, what's called a tele-ICU, and that had been done elsewhere, but we really developed the first one that was um, for adults solely on the, the EPIC platform. Bringing together all of the dimensions of the division, working to improve access to care and reduce long-standing health inequalities that you know no matter where you go, you're gonna get the same level of care. And that's really a fundamental piece of equity is that you know, when you need something, you get it and they're not sort of barriers or hoops that you wouldn't necessarily even be aware of that you have to get through to get the care that's needed. This was a unique experience during the COVID-19 search. And when we protocolized care, and in fact, actually some of the reported differences in mortality between minority communities that were reported in the US, we actually did not see. This was reported in the literature. A diverse, engaged faculty focused on a culture of safety and inclusion, integrating DEI into all aspects of the section's mission. We uh, take care of diverse patients. We take care of uh, diverse trainees. And I think who you were, who where you grew up matters. Um, and it adds um, some dimension and flavors to what you do. And that's made us stronger. It's a very warm group. It's a very diverse group. I think, you know, more than 50% are women. That has impressed me about Yale over the years and continues to be a reason why I stay here is the number of strong women in all aspects of medicine, whether it's in clinical care, in investigation and research, or in healthcare administration. Tailored mentoring is central to recruiting and retention. Mentorship is so important, uh, especially in underrepresented minority populations. At least connect them with someone that they can really, you know, relate to. It's just, just so important in terms of, you know, sharing ideas and, and improving access to care overall. Mentors become colleagues, another one of those common threads. That was something that, that attracted me to this section. Number one, uh, the team, the, the, the people, the mentoring. I had the opportunity to start, you know, continue my growth, but also find my niche. We get to actually grow the future stars in our field. Clinical excellence requires physician scientists. The physician scientist is important because it allows for us to identify what is missing in our care of our patients. Frontline problem solvers. They're able to translate 
what they see at the bedside, back to the bench or to the computer these days, and then go back to the patients and take care of them with new tools and new technologies and new treatments. That's critical in, in, in really providing the best quality care to patients, and that's part of our mission here at Yale. One of the largest hospitals in the country thinking big, staying nimble, and helping the world to breathe. It's not only about outstanding clinical care, education and research, but also about the best environment that this work can be done.